13 News Now begins with breaking news. All right, this breaking news right out of Alexandria right now. A federal judge will allow Virginia to join its case against President Donald Trump's travel ban. That's right. Now, we know that the Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring had sought to join the lawsuit and broaden its scope at this point. We actually have Laura Geller, who is live in Alexandria, with much more on this story. Well, guys, that federal hearing uh, wrapped up just a short time ago, and we just finished speaking with attorneys for the plaintiffs in this case, as well as the attorney general. And what this order means is that Virginia can move forward with its case against this executive order on immigration. Now, the attorney general's case was technical in nature, and it basically said that this executive order gives financial harm to Virginia and it doesn't allow students and faculty and other people to come to this Commonwealth while it is in effect. The federal government, on the other hand, argued that this is not the case for Virginia to move forward with this argument because it is reaching settlements with the plaintiffs originally named in this case. But even though the argument is financial in nature and technical in nature, the attorney general told us that at the heart of this, he says this executive order is un-American and there are more emotional arguments. And we heard from one of the attorneys for the plaintiff in this case. Here's what he had to say. Imagine that you have worked rigorously for months and months to have a the ability to live in this country, to work, to pay your taxes, to buy a house, and then to suddenly, at the stroke of a pen, literally when she's in the air, have that dream dashed. Tremendously traumatic. Now, because the Commonwealth is allowed to move forward with its case next Friday, a week from today, the Attorney General and Solicitor General will be back here and they will be able to argue the more emotional arguments that they have against this executive order. And one of the more interesting moments in this hearing this morning was when the judge spoke and she issued her order and she had some pretty tough words for the federal government. She said that I have been on the bench a long time and I have never had so much outpouring from the public as I have had in this case. And this is a judge who sat on some of the 9-11 hearings. So we will have more from that part of the hearing coming up in the next half hour. For now, we are live in Alexandria. I'm Laura Geller for 13 News Now.